Hi, John here. Today I'd like to show you a uh, the inner workings of a bucket truck, the extension cylinder, some of the problems that you could have. We're going to take one of these apart and show you how that operates. Okay, as long as we have the cover off the control assembly here, I'd like to just quickly point out a couple of uh, features. These are our solenoids right here for all the different functions, extend, retract, outer boom lower, outer boom raise, clockwise, counterclockwise, our stow and unstow, our high speed and low speed solenoid right here. Um, these could be an issue, typically if you're gonna have an issue here, these are plastic, they'll overheat because there's a solenoid inside of them. When they do overheat, you'll notice that they swell right here. If you have one that's swollen and uh, that function's not operating, that solenoid is bad. And you don't have to replace all of them. They do unbolt and there are seals in between them. So you can go ahead and replace them individually. Uh, also, if you look at uh, this panel right here with all these connectors, obviously this is out in the open. It's uh, There is a cover that goes over it right here, but uh, that cover doesn't make it watertight when you're driving down the highway at 50, 60 miles an hour. Anything road salt, uh, moisture, rain, it can all get in here and cause corrosion on these terminals. So that is another uh, problem area that uh, you want to keep an eye on if you're having an issue with something. So occasionally you're going to run across a situation where you're going to want to either replace the hydraulic lines or you might have an extension cylinder inside here that is leaking. You'll just have to pull this apart and I'll show you how that's done. Uh, replace the lines and reseal the cylinder. These are our adjustments for our side and up and down plate. We just want to back all them out. There's a pad on this one that sits right here. It just sits right in a, a groove there. At the other end we have some hydraulic lines uh, you can see right here, there's four of them disconnected. And at the very end, we have a couple more hydraulic lines there, and that's where we'll unbolt the cylinder to remove it. Okay, so here we are at the opposite end. Uh, we have a couple of hydraulic fittings here that attach to a valve. And we have on this particular model, which is a VersaLift, we have four screws, two here, two here, that hold everything in. Uh, Alltech uses a pin in here. You'd remove the pin and slide it all out. But let's go take a look at the extension part of it and have a look at that. Okay, so here we are at the extension cylinder. This is obviously where our bucket would attach our controls when we're in that bucket. I just have it sitting on a couple of jack stands here. Inside is that cylinder goes all the way down to right here. It attaches with these two screws here and two more on the opposite side. If I were to take those four screws out, then what we would do is walk this whole cylinder out. When we get it out, on the opposite end, there's a collar right here. And of course I'm talking about the opposite end, but there'd be a collar. It simply unscrews and the inner cylinder pulls right out and there are seals on it. You replace all those seals. <clears throat> now that is done. We have a couple of slides right here, and as long as we have it apart, we might as well throw some new ones in because they're worn. There's here, there's another one right on the bottom, right here. We have our side ones, and then we have these, a half moon on the uh, inside. This is our cat track. We've already put new lines in here, new hydraulic lines. We also have inside there, there's our four new hydraulic lines. We have an air hose, we have our bucket controls, and we also have 110 volt uh, AC power. That all has to go in that cat track, and as the cylinder goes in and out, that cat track will go ahead and bend to keep everything from being destroyed inside there. Again, back to the business end where we would be standing in the bucket. This is our control. All of these wires, again, go through that cat track and we have them laying on the floor over there. But those are all your controls. Here's our air hose. And we have 110 volt right here going into an outlet. 
If you have the option, this would be your leveling cylinder. Again, we have two more hoses that go to it, and we did replace those. But this is the cylinder that uh, would level your bucket, keep it level when you're going through the arc of motion.